let's look at this interesting example we have been given a square out of which the information given to us is one diagonal equation and one vertex we have to find out the equation of sides on which this vertex lies so let's go ahead and try to put the vertex at a and say this is one comma two and uh, we have been given a diagonal 8x minus 15y equal to 0. Now, the, the diagonal cannot be AC because 1 comma 2 is not satisfied by 8x minus 15y. If you substitute 1 comma 2, 8 into 1 is 8 minus 30 that is not equal to 0. So, BD should be the equation of diagonal. 8x minus 15y or can I say 8x minus 15y equal to 0 here for the diagonal BD. Now you know the diagonals of a square are at right angles to each other. So you can easily find out the diagonals of, you can easily find out the other diagonal AC. So let us write it down here. We will say BD equation we know is 8x minus 15y equal to 0. So let us say BD 8x minus 15y equal to 0. So 8x minus 15y will give me the slope of BD is how much? Let us find it down. Slope of BD equal to 8x is 15y, y equal to 8 by 15. So, uh, slope of AC will be minus 5 by 18 and the equation of AC will be of the form 5x, 15x, I just did a mistake here. Let me just fix it. Minus 8 by 15y equal to 8x, y equal to 8 by 15. So this becomes minus 15 by 8 or the equation will be 15x plus 8y plus k. We will find out what is the value of k whether it is plus or minus. Okay, 15x plus 8y plus k equal to 0 and it has to pass through 1 comma 2. That will help me to find out the value of k. So it will be 15 into 1 by substituting 1 comma 2 in the line. We will have 8 into 2 plus k equal to 0 or k equal to minus 31. So, the equation will be 15x plus 8y, 8y minus 31. So, let us check by substituting 1 comma 2, 15 plus 8 twos are 16, 31 minus 31 is 0. So, we know the equation of AC. Now, this is pretty simple problem like earlier because we know the diagonals of a square makes an angle 45 degrees with the sides. Now we know the equation of AC, we have to find out the equation of AB. For that, I will go ahead and say the slope of AB B M. We know the slope of AC, so we will say angle between AB and AC is 45 degrees. We know that once we know AB AC angle, we know that if that is theta, we know tan theta equal to M1 minus M2 by 1 plus M1 M2 substituting in that tan 45 equal to 
m1 is m minus of m2 slope of ac is minus 15 by 8 so we will have m minus of minus 15 by 8 one plus by 1 plus m into minus 15 by 8 if we simplify this we will get the value of slope so that's nothing but 1 equal to m plus 15 by 8 divided by 1 minus 15 m by 8 equating we will have 1 minus 15 m by 8 equal to m plus 15 by 8 or 15 I can take the 15 m by 8 to the right side so I will have 15 m by 8 plus m equal to 1 minus 15 by 8 that is that gives me 23 m by 8 equal to minus 7 by 8 so m equal to minus 7 by 23 m equal to minus 7 by 23 now we know the slope of we know the slope of a b that is minus 7 by 23 obviously the slope of a d will be 23 by 7 now this is pretty straightforward you know the slope you know the point you can easily find it out so let's find out the equations of a d and a b first we'll find out the equation of a d for finding out the equation of a d we'll use the formula y minus y1 equal to m into x minus x1 where slope we know is 23 by 7 and it has to pass through the point 1 comma 2 so can i say y minus 2 equal to 23 by 7 into x minus 1 or 7y minus 14 equal to 23x minus 23 or can I say 23x minus 7y minus 9 equal to 0 that's the equation of AD let's now find out the equation of AB if we go to AB if we go to AB we know same formula we will use the slope is now minus 7 by 23 or I can do another thing that should be exactly perpendicular to this so that equation should be 7x plus 23y plus k equal to 0 and it has to pass through 1 comma 2 so by doing that I can easily find out the value of k by substituting 1 comma 2 7 into 1 plus 23 into 2 plus k equal to 0 or k equal to minus 53 so the equation of a b is 7x plus 23 y plus minus 53 equal to 0 so those are the two equations of a b and a d how we have done that let's summarize this we have been given just one diagonal equation and one vertex but we are leveraging the properties of the square to find out the equations of the sides of the square which are passing through the vertex given that is 1 comma 2 we have been given the diagonal 8x minus 15y we know that 1 comma 2 does not satisfy 8x minus 15y so it should be a point on the opposite diagonal so one diagonal we know 8x minus 15y we can easily find out the other diagonal equation because the slope will be negative reciprocal of the first diagonal and it has to pass through 1 comma 2 we found that equation is 15x plus 8y minus 31 equal to 0 once we find the equation of AC it's pretty easy because we know AB and AD make an angle 45 degrees we can leverage the formula that the angle between two lines is given by tan theta equal to m1 minus m2 by 1 plus m1 m2 where m1 m2 are slopes of the 
two lines. So we based on that we found the slope of AB. Once we know the slope of AB, slope of AD is negative reciprocal of AB. We know that you have to go through point one comma two. We used point slope form and able to successfully find out the equations of AD and AB. So we'll solve one more interesting example in the coming session related to using this particular formula. If we know the angle between two lines, how we can find out the equation of the straight line? If we know that it has to pass through one particular point. Thanks for your time. I'll catch you again. Bye for now.